What is up guys and welcome back to another review video. Today we are reviewing the Mavic Air. Now I know I'm a bit late to the party but I'm at the party nonetheless. So let's get into it. Now there's plenty of the uh, reviews out there and um, I'm just one of many so I'm not going to get too deep into all the technical stuff. I am also actually a novice so this is a complete look at it from a person who's never owned a drone before. This is my first one ever and so far I've tested it out and it's worked out so awesome. Definitely one of my favorite things to keep in my camera bag from now on. Now first off what I enjoy is the fact that they took the Mavic Pro and the Spark and they kind of combined it into one awesome little little travel drone partner. The fact, the fact that the legs now fold up on such a tiny drone is just awesome because you can just really pack it into your camera bag really nicely. And it fits in there in the same space as what um, two lens, lenses would. So it would only takes up space of two lenses, which is awesome. Another cool thing they did that your remote can travel with you easier is they made the joysticks detachable and you can actually put them underneath this little part that folds down and holds your um, cell phone in place for when you're flying. So I think the fact that this thing is so portable as a drone, you don't have to carry the big cases around and or it just doesn't take up that much space in your camera bag. People will actually take it along with them more often because I think one of the big issues like for me is I have all this fancy gear but they're large so I don't always want to take it with me because then it means I have to set that up, take it out, it takes up space where something else could have been that could make, some, uh, make a difference. Like I like portable stuff and I like working with it. It might not be as good as the big equipment, but look, if you, you work with what you have. So for me, the fact that this thing is just so small and folds up nicely and comes in this little, little case and could just fit in your camera bag where two lenses would have been, it's just phenomenal. Now from what I understand the range on the DJI Mavic Air is 4 kilometers. Um, I personally haven't even pushed mine there because my like my gut just drops when I can't see it or hear it anymore and I'm relying on this the little cell phone screen and the, the fact that like every now and then you get a little bit of hitching in your feed so you're like, oh crap, you thought I was, you're like, you think you were there and next moment, oh, you like somewhere else and you're like, oh, hell. Um, so they say it's four kilometers. From what I hear people say, yes, some, some say it does more, some say it does less. So I can't really comment on that. I haven't really uh, pushed my drone that far, but from, from DJI, DJI says it can do about four kilometers. For battery life, they say it's 21 minutes. But you never want to fly if the battery is completely empty because that uh, diminishes their um, charge quality and their lifespan. So from my point of view, I think uh, with in battery life, you get 18 minutes out of a battery in flight time, depending on wind and distance you fly. So you kind of want to keep everything in mind when you are taking it out. Now for camera quality, the one thing that I know that upgraded from the DJI uh, Mavic Pro is it is it has a um, constant focus on it so everything you're shooting in fo is in focus you don't get that focus searching like they used to have on the Mavic Pro this one everything is in sharp focus and what and what I really like about that is you get those if you're doing anything in like very still water you get that mirrored reflection of the thing uh, of the object in the background on the water. Um, I like the fact that it has the constant focus because you're never worrying about did I get the shot or not. Um, one drawback is you can't really get those very creative shots like um, shallow depth of field type looking shots because obviously everything will be in focus no matter what. Now for camera quality, it's got a phenomenal 4K camera on it. Um, some people say that that it doesn't handle darkness really well, but I've shot with it indoors and um, in very low light situations, and it 
to me it handled it fairly well. Um, for a drone to keep with you and do those nice cinematic type shots and have that like very travel feel to it like you want to after you look at your footage you're just like damn i want to do that again it just looks so amazing it's a fantastic drone to take with you for that aspect for all photographers or videographers who want to just have the whole um the drone uh, the 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 landscape the drone landscape type feel to it um for photographic equipment and the quality like really the fact that it's such a fantastic camera is in such a small little package it's just it's mind-blowing so now i've had some issues with some of the with, with the drone as well it it's got all these very smart capture features which are awesome but you have to be aware of the little drawbacks they have now this drone doesn't have sensors on the side and one of its features is that it will pan around you getting this like it will it will make a complete 360 around you and the fact that it doesn't have sensors on the side means if there's any objects in its way it will not stop it won't do anything it will fly smack right into it and i feel that's a drawback if you're going to add these type of um, <coughs> features onto this drone at least make some countermeasures that if something happens that it will stop itself because you have forward sensors downward sensors and backward sensors which are awesome for when you're flying towards something but now this thing's going sideways and what if they if, what if you have a moment there's a person in your way and it like and it smashes right into them then you have a lawsuit also and this is my uh, this is my experience the fact that the return home function i feel like they should maybe think about putting sensors on top of it because it shoots straight up into the air and whatever is above it, it will smash into. Again, they should. I think that should have sensors all of, like all the way around the, the drone to prevent these things because it is a definite drawback in this drone. The, or not just this drone, in all drones. If mine flew straight up into a tree when it was coming home and yes, that was mostly my fault. I should have paid more attention but what, what if you are flying it way further than, than what you can see and the only field of view you have is the camera in front. You can't see what's above you and the drone decides, okay, cool, a return home function and it goes straight up. Why did I choose the Mavic Air? Um, I chose it because of its small compact size. I was actually originally looking at the DJI Spark. Uh, but when I found, when the Mavic Air was released, the price difference between the two wasn't that substantial. I went for the Fly More pa uh, pack with the Mavic Air, and that was the same one I was looking for the Spark as well, because I wanted extra batteries for more flights. Uh, more and there's not a big price difference between the two. The one thing I do like uh, more about the Spark than what they should, could have maybe think uh, thought about including into the Mavic Air, is the fact that the Spark can actually charge off of your battery pack in your backpack while you're walking but then also what I would have liked more on the spark is if the legs were full or could fall then so they both have their plus and minuses I went for the Mavic Air because it has a 4k camera on it and not a 1080p even though none of us can really not everybody has a 4k lens or, or not everybody has a 4k um, screen available to them and we all actually just perceive uh, mostly everything in 1080p if you're sole reason for buying a drone is oh i want it because it's 4k think about it like if you can't afford it go the spark is just as good it's not a bad drone it it's, it shoots the quality that you need i am currently shooting on a 700d canon and it shoots 1080p and it's fine but yeah i bought the mavic air because it's it was it's smaller than the spark because it folds up it's got more range more um uh, battery life for flying better camera and for my personal uses this one would have ticked the boxes more than what the spark would have
watching smash that thumbs up button if you have any comments or questions or suggestions that you would like me to do in future videos or um, about this video leave it down in the comments below um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already check down the in the description box for the links to my Instagram and Patreon where you guys will get exclusive views on what I'd actually do this is just a small little world of my broad one. I enjoy spending time with you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!